Hi everyone, uh, my name is Steve Gaynor and I'm the community coordinator for socialbizug.org and I am pleased and honored today to have our member of the month, Mr. Ray Billick. Ray, how are you? I'm doing outstanding. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. It's very good to see you finally. Uh, we emailed back and forth several times. I think both of our jobs are a little crazy at times. A little bit, yeah. Um, all right, so let me start with your elevator resume. Uh, what's your job title? Who do you work for? Just give me a brief description of uh, what you do. Okay, um, well, my official title, according to my employer, is that I'm a Lotus Notes Domino system administrator. Um, I tend to call myself more of a collaboration administrator. Um, I also do a lot of engineering. Now, my company I work for is called Illich Holdings Incorporated. Um, it's one of many companies that's owned by a, uh, a great family known as the Illich family. And uh, the Illich family, some people may know them if they're in the, in, in the sports. They may know them from things like uh, the Detroit Red Wings, the Detroit Tigers, things like that. Um, other people may know them if they're foodies uh, by a little company known as Little Caesars. Um, so um, my, my responsibility, my job is to just make sure that all these different subsidiary companies and the different other business units that we, we have under our umbrella all work together. I know Little Caesars. <laughs> <laughs> Five dollars hot and ready, baby. Uh, I, um, I I know it's um, it's especially me living here in New England that it's a terrible thing, but I don't really follow sports. Uh, but Little Caesars, I got. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, I was looking at uh, the website for Illich Holdings. Um, so uh, it, it, you already said most of it, but if you could expand just a little bit more in particular, um, the website says uh, you provide professional services. What does that mean, really? Uh, and if you, well, you've already mentioned the companies, but yeah, if you can just expand a little more on, on what you mean by professional services. Sure. Um, professional services are, are any and all of those things that allow these different companies to work together. Um, some of the companies that we work with um, and, and have under our umbrella, besides the Detroit Red Wings and the Detroit Tigers and Little Caesars Pizza, are some of the organizations that. Um, kind of support the those organizations. We have one called Blue Line Distributing. It handles all of the distributing of all the materials to the different Little Caesars restaurants. Uh, we also have one called Champion Foods. Uh, Champion Foods uh, is the part, they make the basic ingredients that uh, we use at Little Caesars. Uh, they also do uh, a, a lot of now outside and contract work with some of the other uh, uh, vendors and different companies out there. Um, if you've ever gone and, and gotten uh, scones, frozen scones, at a grocery store, there's a very good chance that those scones were made by our Champion Foods division. Um, we also uh, do Olympia Entertainment, which uh, Olympia Entertainment is uh, any of the Detroit area um, entertainment venues, uh, especially Joe Louis Arena. We own the Fox Theater, and um, we provide those different uh, um, uh it is what my job is and what we do at um, Illich Holdings is we make sure that any of the support mechanisms in, are in place uh, to be able to handle the technology, to handle um, uh, things like telephones um, and other logistics of, of that nature. That's what we do as, pro as professional services. That sounds like it can be pretty challenging. Uh, very challenging, very challenging and also very keeps us very busy, that's for sure. Uh, well, we have, on, on that note, then, um, uh, if you can, can you uh, describe a recent challenge that you had and what you did to overcome it? Oh, uh, well, let's see. Uh, there's, there's been a lot of challenges in, in what we do. Um, one of the challenges, uh, for example, is that, um, oh, my goodness, uh, re recently we've been working with trying to get uh, notes and domino uh, brought out to the different various business units and uh, in, in doing an upgrade eight, from 8.53 to 9.0. And so we, with the fact that we have different companies and all these different companies are nationwide basically, uh, we have to make sure that uh, I had to get the, the media in the right locations. I had to make sure that the smart upgrade was working properly. And also we're, we're testing uh, smart cloud right now. And so we're, we're finding uh, places where 
the smart cloud would be a nice fit and be able to bring in um, pieces and parts of it, like uh, bring connections into the fold so that, um, for example, we have uh, a convention that we do um, and we're looking at maybe using connections as a way for the different presenters around the country to be able to work on their sl uh, slide decks and get them enhanced so that all that information as well as things like uh, their bios, their, their pictures and things like that are all available to all the people that are coming to the, con uh, the convention and so that everything's just up and ready and ready to rock and roll. And that's kind of what we're, we're doing in, uh, in right now in, in our environment. Oh, excellent. So, um, well, then that leads me to my next question then. Uh, I was going to ask if you currently use connections, but it sounds like you do. Uh, and then as a side question, will you be upgrading to Mail Next? Uh, Mail Next really right now isn't on our radar, and I think it's just because of the, the, the fact that we want to get we want to get upgraded to 9 first. Uh, I will say this, that what they're doing with that is very enticing. And uh, it's definitely something we want to look at. Uh, you know, we, we do hear those common complaints, no matter what the platform is in terms of mail. Uh, we get people that come into our organization, our different business units, from uh, from using Outlook and even other mail systems. And the, the, the common complaints are the same. And I, I think that from what I'm seeing with Mail Next, this is going to solve a lot of their problems. Get, just getting the work done and not getting lost in the minutia of the mail, working with people instead of with paper. You know, because really, paper now is the, the emails that we get electronically. What used to be 10 years ago, trying to find in a stack of paper, you now have to try to find in a stack of email. If we can kind of uh, document, tag, and organize this information and have the system do it for us as well, we can get back to just working out and talking eye to eye and just having that stuff at our disposal. Uh, you're preaching to the choir on that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, my inbox is overflowing, and I can never find anything that I need. Um, Absolutely. Uh, do you, um, uh, and I, I want to just come back to it, do you find um, connections uh, to be very useful for you, to be a useful tool? Um, we're, we're, still trying to, we're still trying to get our foothold into it, kind of in terms of usefulness for business units, but I, I will say this personally. Uh, from the times I've been using it and the different opportunities I've had to use it as being an IBM champion, um, as being uh, someone who's worked in greenhouse a lot and, and working with even uh, some of my old um, uh, students from when I was a, a, a notes and domino instructor. Uh, those types of opportunities to interact, it, connections just makes it so much easier just to put that stuff together. Yep, yep, i got to agree with you there. Um, okay, so I have now what I always call the most important question of the interview. However, this time I'm going to change it up a little bit. I always ask about what's your favorite movie. Well, this time I want to ask, um, have you read any good books lately? Can you recommend one? Maybe give us a, just a thumbnail book report. Honestly, my, my favorite book of all time, and it's one I actually go to and read quite a bit, even though I probably can recite a lot of it word for word, is a book by a gentleman named Charlie Papazian, um, and it's called the the uh, Joy of Homebrewing. And uh, what this book, I'm, I'm an amateur homebrewer, and so uh, this book is like the Bible for those of us getting started in homebrewing. Uh, this book provides it's so much information, and the the great thing about it, it's in very digestible pieces. It's 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 very much like a uh, introduction to homebrewing, but for those of us that have been doing it for quite a while, it also provides a lo lot of great information about uh, doing things like working with the different water mixtures, uh, different types of yeasts and how we use them, uh, going from bottle to kegging your beer, things like that, um, even doing uh, meads. Uh, this, this book has a little bit of everything, and uh, it, it the, the motto that's really used throughout the book is something that really sums up the entire book. Just relax, don't worry, have a homebrew. And so it, it's it's one of the best books I've ever read. Oh, that sounds awesome. So you make some of your own brews? I do. I, I love making I love making beer. Uh, there's there's been times I've brought a couple down to uh, Lotus Fears and Connects to just sample with some people and get their feedback. And the great great thing about that is 
uh, especially when you're seeing your friends and, and, and your extended family uh, after a year of being away from them, uh, the amazement of, of the, the joy of seeing the look on their face when you're handing them a bottle of beer and you say, this is something I made, uh, enjoy it, and give me feedback. And they do. They're, they're, they're honest, and it, I appreciate all that honesty, and I use that to take back and try to make my beers even better. Do, do you name your beers? I try to. I, I don't get too fancy with them just yet. I don't go too crazy. Um, I, I find that sometimes when, when you get beer beer names that are the crazy crazy names like uh, um, destitute or uh, um, yeah, some of those crazy names, it makes it really hard to understand what that beer is just by name. So I, I tend to name them more after my family. Uh, my uh, uh, and also uh, some of the things that uh, I enjoy doing. My, the name of my home brewery is the Pride Lands Home Brewery. So I based it off of characters from The Lion King. Uh, my raspberry wheat's called Rafiki's Raspberry Wheat. Uh, Stout is named after my wife, Jennifer. Uh, my, um, some of my other beers are named after my daughter, Kiara, my son, Devin. And so it, 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 makes, it makes it easy to remember uh, what, what type of beers I'm, I'm selling or, or giving away just by uh, naming who, who's, who they're named after. That's awesome. Awesome. That that is really cool. Uh, I know the feeling. I, I, I like to cook, uh, and when I can make a nice meal for friends, you know that's that's a, a wonderful feeling. It's a set of pride. It really is. All right. Well, actually, I'm going to throw in one final question for you. Okay. Uh, I, is there one fact uh, about yourself that people might not know? Ooh, one fact. Okay. Um, one fact that people might not know is that um, I used to be a pretty good bowler. And in fact, uh, in 10 pin bowling, uh, I bowled a perfect game. I bowled a 300 game in a tournament one time. Uh, that's probably that's probably one fact not a lot of people are aware of. Excellent. All right, Ray, I think we're out of time. Uh, I appreciate so much you taking the time. Uh, to talk to us. Um, keep posting on social biz. We love hearing from you. Uh, Absolutely. I, I, that's, it's my favorite site. It's also the site I send everyone to. Uh, that's so good to hear. All right. You take care, and I will see you on socialbizug.org.